So today I'm talking about a Dodge or a Chrysler with the P1128 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P1128 code? Well, it's a closed loop fuel not achieved bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there's oxygen sensors that are located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And they report this information back to the computer that uses it to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And when the engine first starts, the computer's not using the O2 sensor for feedback to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture. It's basically guessing how much fuel should be going into the engine. But as soon as the engine warms up, the O2 sensor should be reporting back to the computer how much oxygen was burnt off and the computer will have the information it needs to get the correct air fuel ratio mixture going into the cylinders. But when it's in an open loop, this O2 sensor is not sending the information the computer needs to adjust that air fuel ratio mixture. So basically when this happens, the computer's just guessing how much fuel should be going into the cylinders. So V6 and V8 engines are gonna have two banks. Bank one is always deciding the engine with the number one cylinder, and the opposite of that is gonna be bank two. So if you find bank one on your engine, that's gonna be the side of the engine having problems. If you have a four cylinder, it wouldn't matter, you only have one bank. And on each bank of the engine, you're going to have two O2 sensors. You're going to have sensor one called the upstream oxygen sensor that's located before the catalytic converter. And then you're going to have sensor two, also called the downstream oxygen sensor, that's going to be located after the catalytic converter. And the sensor reporting back to the computer how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion is going to be the sensor one or upstream oxygen sensor. And one thing about this code is that sometimes it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot since it can be caused by different things. Since there's so many different things that could cause this, the main thing to pay attention to when you are getting this code is that if you're getting any other codes. For example, if you're also getting like an engine coolant temperature sensor code or a MAF sensor code or something like that, be sure to pay attention to that because that can help point you to what the problem is. And so what are some possible causes of a P1128 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that O2 sensor just failed. It just needs to be replaced. If it's gone bad, then it's not going to be reporting the information back to the computer. And so the vehicle is never going to be able to go into a closed loop. So the first thing to do is to locate that bank one sensor one on your vehicle and go and test that sensor. Be sure that it's working good. Also keep in mind that if there's anything wrong with the wiring going to the sensor, open, short, anything like this, then it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So be sure to keep that in mind. Another thing that sometimes causes issues is that if there's an exhaust leak going on, because basically if outside air is getting into the exhaust, then it's going to throw those O2 sensors off and that could cause problems and cause strange things to happen. So you can't examine the exhaust to be sure that there's no leaks going on or anything like this, because if any outside air is getting into that exhaust, then that will cause issues. If you go through and that O2 sensor test good, there's no problems in the wiring, there's no exhaust leaks or anything like that, then the next thing that could cause is, is that there's some kind of engine problem going on. And this could be something like a bad engine coolant temperature sensor. If the temp sensor goes bad, then it's not going to be reporting back to the computer that the engine's warmed up, so it'll never go into a closed loop. It could also be a bad MAV sensor, a bad camshaft position sensor. There could be a fuel delivery issue, like a clogged up fuel filter or a fuel pump that's starting to go bad. Quite often when it's one of those things, like a bad sensor or something like that, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Dodge or a Chrysler with the P1128 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.